Hi everybody, I'm U.S. Park Ranger Jeremiah Hockett. I'm here with some of my friends to uh, give you guys a walk through uh, Rogue One, which is our park patrol boat. Uh, you may have seen us at previous events. Uh, things are a little different this year because of COVID, as we all know, so we're doing a virtual program. I hope you guys enjoy this. Uh, what we'd like to do first is uh, talk a little bit about Whiskey Town. We're here at our government docks where we keep our boat uh, docked when we're not using it. Um, but Whiskey Town, if you're familiar and been to the park, huge lake, we got 3,200 acres of water, and that's a lot of area to cover. There's areas um, as rangers that we need to access that you can't access any other way except by boat. So that's why we have a patrol boat. Um, we deal with a variety of law enforcement issues out on the lake. Uh, sometimes we're responding to a boat collision or perhaps a swimmer in distress, a disabled vessel, um, we have illegal fires along the shores, uh, things like that. And then we also do search and rescue with this vessel. So um, again, uh, weather can change very rapidly on the lake, things like that. Um, people who either in the water, paddle boards, kayaks, uh, another boat, um, they get into trouble, big waves pick up, wind, and we often get calls for people in the water, uh, often not wearing a life jacket. You guys can see that I'm wearing one today. I uh, definitely recommend anytime you're on a boat um, that you have a life jacket on and those definitely save lives. And that's a lot of the calls that we get is people in distress and they're not wearing these. So um, we're going to give you guys a walk through the boat first. And again, we'll take you out on the water and uh, we'll do some uh, maneuvers out here on the lake so you can get a feel for uh, how this how this vessel operates. Hi, this is Ranger Jeremiah again. Um, I stopped the boat so that we can uh, hear while we're talking here. Um, I just wanted to go through a few basics on this boat. Um, if you guys are familiar, there's prop boats that have a propeller that spins under the water that actually pushes the boat. Um, this one, by contrast, is a rogue jet boat. So it's actually a water jet. Um, and that propulsion system is really awesome uh, because it makes this boat very maneuverable. Uh, we can turn in place, we can turn very tightly, um, and we can also operate in very shallow water. And if you guys look out across a lake, that becomes an issue sometimes in the winter time. We have a lot of exposed areas where there's uh, shoals, which are essentially hills under the water, and oftentimes we'll find ourselves operating in very shallow water. So some great advantages to the jet. Uh, disadvantages, you can suck up debris in it and stop that uh, flow of water, and then you're... Uh, you know, at the mercy of your paddle. But let me show you guys what powers this, and then you'll understand why we have to wear these headsets when we're underway so that we can talk and hear each other. Here we go, guys. Let me lift up this engine cowl. All right, guys, there's our power plant. So what you're looking at is a Raptor uh, 6.2 liter motor. These are the same motors that you see in the Ford Raptor trucks and that's what's powering this boat and we're pushing about 450 horsepower in this vessel. So uh, it'll get up and move, uh, get up and move quickly and accelerate quickly and uh, that's really uh, helpful to get places in a hurry when we have an emergency and also um, when we find ourselves in moving water, swift water, we have a little bit of that here in the park up by the powerhouse and having that power readily available helps us maneuver in that moving water uh, environment, so. All right guys, so um, while we're sitting here, I want to show you guys uh, some things up on top of the vessel here. Probably wondering what this uh, strange white dome up here is. Um, this is a Raymarine uh, radar system. So one of the things we get called for, have emergencies out here on the lake, sometimes in inclement weather, rain, fog, sometimes at night and uh, this lake is really really dark at night and it's very hard to see the shoreline it's very hard to see other hazards other boats in the water and especially if you're looking for somebody out in the water that radar system is constantly uh, turning and giving us a picture of the shoreline and other hazards that we might encounter in the water and also another boat or somebody who's in the water that needs our assistance um, so that's what this dish up here we got our light bar 
These are spotlights. There's one in the front and back. And there's a little remote control I can show you um, that help us pan those around if we're looking for somebody at night. And again, uh, these have a limited range. It's really dark out here at night, so we're usually not going very quickly at night. Let me show you the displays down here. Okay, so what we're looking at here, um, we have two displays here at the operator's console of the boat. Um, we can put a variety of different things up on these displays, but what I currently have right now um, is our plotter, which shows our position on the lake, um, which is really helpful, again, to know where, where we are on the lake, especially when we can't see, especially at a nighttime environment when you can't see the shoreline around you. And this is our radar right here. So if we're out here at night, um, again, something that might be in the water that's not on our chart, or what we're seeing here is actually the radar painting the shoreline and we can adjust the sensitivity um, so that it's very close to us and picking up uh, things that are very close very well and or we can kick it out um, and increase that distance and th see things that are um, quite a ways out, up to a mile, I believe, so. Lastly, I just want to talk to everybody about wearing the importance of wearing life jackets. As you can see, um, I'm wearing one. This looks a di little different from what you're probably used to. This is a type five inflatable. So I can either pull this cord down here and inflate it that way or manually. There's a tube inside here. If the little cartridge fails, I can orally inflate it with a tube. Or if I go overboard and end up in the water, uh, it is actually activated by the water and it'll inflate and this big collar comes around me. So um, in contrast, Tyler's wearing um, your normal PFD, a uh, Coast Guard approved uh, type three, and it's got a zipper in the front and straps on the sides. Life jackets, um, the important thing is make sure they're Coast Guard approved, make sure that they're proper size and adjusted properly. And the best thing to do is wear them. Uh, we're out here on Rogue One. We hope to find you guys out here on the lake having fun and not in need of rescue. And one of the ways you can avoid that is wearing that life jacket. Um, kids that are age uh, 12 and under actually need to wear them at all times on a vessel. 13 and older just have to have them on board and accessible. Again, we always recommend wearing them. You could be Michael Phelps level swimmer and uh, it won't matter if you're unconscious in the water. So hope you guys have a really good time out on the lake. Hope to see you out there and uh, give us a wave if you see the patrol boat out on the lake. Love to see you. Thank <laughs> you.